All right, at last we are here. I am in my element. We are at the Homestead Resort and Spa. And of course, for all of you out there who maybe don't like to golf or if you had a long day golfing, you need a day of relaxing, unwinding, and total body relaxation. Well, it looks like Sari Moline is going to be helping us out today. She is the spa director here at the Homestead. Now, first of all, I was reading about the whole Aveda concept. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the Aveda concept is the idea that every product that we use in the spa is Aveda. Aveda is a very earth nurturing product line. So plant derived and marine derived ingredients are fantastic for the body and for the skin. So everything we use comes from them. Now, I don't know if you guys have like a, um, a certain time of the year that's really busy compared to other times of the year, but I'm guessing that this time of the year you're getting a lot of people coming in that are having icky backs and legs from all the golfing that they do. What are some of the most common treatments that you see here at the spa? Well, I think our most popular treatments are our Elemental Nature Massage and our Elemental Nature Facial. Um, elemental Nature is a concept based on imbalances that you have in your own body and in your own mind and your own soul and then we use specific aromas to help balance those out and we do that with both a facial and with a massage. Now when someone comes to the spa, do, should they plan for an entire, I mean I like to plan for an entire day, I guess I should say doing you know the, the full setup, you know pedicure, manicure, facial massage, what do you usually typically see? Are there packages that they come in or things that you should and shouldn't do all in one day? Yeah, we do actually a lot of packages. We have three different packages, and the most popular one that we have is an hour facial, an hour massage, and an hour pedicure. And that takes about three and a half hours, you know, all put together in between your appointments, but that is by far our most popular package. And then we have some other ones that are body treatments and stone massages and things like that. Um, our package prices are really nice because they save about 15% off of the full price. Now I'm guessing you being the director, you've had to have, you know, kind of a, a shuffle through of employees and doing so, you've probably had your fair share of treatments here. Which is your all-time favorite here? My hands down favorite treatment is the Caribbean Therapy Body Treatment. It's a full body exfoliation, seaweed wrap, shower, and then a moisture application at the end. It's like the ultimate body treatment. Ooh, I'm trembling already. Now, a little bit off the subject. Okay. We were talking earlier, you were mentioning a little bit of history in the building. Tell us a little bit about that, but don't be too spooky. I get scared easily. Okay. <laughs> well, the, the spa is actually located in the Virginia House, which is the original building that was built when the Schneiders discovered the crater and really wanted to plant ground here so many years ago. So the spa is actually located in a building that is 120 years old. Now. It's also on the historic register, and we take all of the joy and challenges that come with being in a historic building. Uh, many, many people will tell us that they, you know, feel kind of different things. They think the building is haunted. Uh, there's, there's a rumor that Fanny still is here, and she checks on things frequently. Fanny Schneider, who is the original, the mom of the home, if you will. Uh, you know, I, I always say it's only there if you believe in it. So, you know, I let everybody make up their own mind. And me personally, when I come to the spa, I usually end up falling asleep doing my massage anyway. So, you know, potato, potato, doesn't really matter. I guess we're going to take a tour of the place right now and kind of get an idea or a feel of what the spa is actually like. So let's check it out. Okay. All right, Sari, upon arriving here at the spa, what is it that your guests can expect? Well, the first thing that we'll do is we'll have them change into a robe and a pair of sandals. That's, you know, the ultimate in getting rid of your own clothing and shedding all of that and getting into something a little bit more, you know, relaxing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we give every one of our guests an option of getting into the mineral water uh, tub here, which is completely mineral water from the crater. The little siphon goes down around underground and we fill it with straight mineral water. So it's very nice. It's a nice way to, to have that crater experience but without having to do you know everything all at once especially if you have just a limited amount of time. Um, so we have all of our guests you know have this as an option and then they'll go into our living room and wait where we have tea, we have iced tea, we have water, uh, apples uh, and, and books and magazines. And it's so funny we have so many guests that read the books instead of the magazines. Just they you know you find them and they're like wait just let me finish the chapter but it's great. So then we take them upstairs to go have their treatments and we can head up there whenever you want. Wow, you definitely take care of your guests here. And I was also interested, I mean, I, I noticed a couple of people kind of in and out uh, for today. Um, when you're fully staffed, about how many people do you usually have here? 
when we're fully staffed, we have about 15 therapists, estheticians, receptionists, people that are just here to take care of our guests. So right now we're, we're just a little shy of that, but uh, we're still able to take care of everybody. And when does your spa here get probably the busiest that it ever is? I mean, I know it's probably a year-round thing, but your busiest time of the year. Well, the thing that I always tell people is that as long as children are out of school, that's when we're busy because we're such a family-oriented location, such a family-oriented resort that we have families that come back year after year after year. And so obviously when we have a lot of people staying here, our spa gets a lot busier. Also weekends during the cooler months are really busy for us. So I always tell everybody, call us as far in advance as you know that you want to come to the spa because we do get booked up, especially on weekends. And kind of in line with that, what are your uh, cancellation process I mean do you have like a some kind of a setup where they have to call four hours ahead or how does that work yeah our cancellation policy is four hours which is really nice a lot of other resorts and, and places are, are 12 or 24 hours which is really hard to plan in advance especially when you're on vacation so we give everybody a four hour cancellation policy if you aren't able to cancel in that time then we do charge you the price of the service because we can usually fill that spot but really, why would you cancel? Let's exactly. be honest. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, Sari has been nice enough. She's actually going to give us a tour of the facility, and we'll get a sneak peek of what the massages and some of the other treatments are actually like. So follow us.